day. You look tired, Thomas. I am. I would admit I ain't as young as I used to be. Well, you can always go to the works and have yourself overhauled. I know I can be repaired physically, but sometimes I just wish I could just do nothing for a change. Well, you can always retire. Retire? You mean like withdrawn or scrapped? No, you just won't be used for regular passenger or freight services. You'll be used for special occasions. Think of Stephen, Glenn, or Neil. Well, I don't think I'm ready for that quite yet, but people will have to see me fly off the rails if they see me quit. That's a good engine. Now would you excuse me? I have paperwork to do. See ya. See ya. Hi, Thomas. Hi, Ari. Hi, Bert. You know, Thomas, we heard your conversation with Lily, and we think you should retire. Why? That means we could scrap you. <laughs> Go to hell, Ari and Bert. That's never going to happen. Face the facts, Thomas. You're getting old, and there's nothing you can do about it. And with that, Ari and Bert rolled away, laughing. I swear, that attitude of theirs is going to get them into trouble one day. But what Thomas didn't know was that the trucks had overheard everything. You know, guys, it's been quite a while since we gave Thomas trouble. And we haven't given him trouble recently, though. You know, I think we should see how reliable Thomas really is, if you know what I mean. The front truck gave a wink to his fellow trucks, and the trucks started laughing.